we're um, focusing a, a project currently on trying to understand why uh, patients who have a specific type of acute myeloid leukemia, one with a, a mutation in a gene called FLT3, uh, why those patients have um, higher rates of recurrence. And one of the reasons that has um, been brought to light is that the specific leukemia uh, has uh, genetic changes that confer um, the propensity to uh, acquire new mutations over time. And, and it's a concept called genomic instability of uh, leukemia in that it constantly is changing. Um, as patients uh, proceed through treatments and then go on to ultimately relapse, uh, what we've been able to identify by examining the genetic changes that occur is that there are prototypical uh, changes at the uh, level of the chromosomes and some uh, genes that um, may highlight a possible new strategy to treat that leukemia. Uh, one to take advantage of, of problems with uh, DNA repair and, and, uh, uh, and one that may be able to uh, take advantage of the genomic instability through augmentation of a, 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 of a uh, immune effect uh, with checkpoint inhibitor therapy. So uh, this is a project that we've uh, used retrospective data at Hopkins, but uh, it's been uh, something that we um, feel is an important finding in acute leukemia.